friends all right so the first thing we're going to do is create the gray base that I'm going to use to paint my face and my chest with I'm using the Ben Nye professional wheel paints here and I'm taking the white and the black and I'm just mixing them together until I reach a gray shade that I'm happy with now I'm going to create a lighter gray shade I'm going to use this gray to highlight my face and my body now I'm going to create a third gray shade. This one's going to be darker than the other two and I'm going to use this color to contour. Next I'm going to start blocking back my brows. So I'm using the Ben Nye Spirit Gum and I'm putting this all over my brow hairs making sure every brow hair is coated. This step is completely optional, so if you don't want to block back your brows, feel free to skip this step. Now I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm just going to move the hairs back and forth to make sure all the hairs are coated and to make sure the spirit gum is starting to get tacky. Once it's tacky, I'm just going to use the end of that toothbrush to pull the hairs up and flatten them against my skin. Then I'm going to take some translucent powder and I'm just going to press that all over my brows. And I'm just going to brush the excess off. Next I'm taking Prosade cream and I'm just going to put this cream all over my brows, just the same as the spirit gum. Once the Prosade dries, it becomes clear and it gets tacky again. So we're just going to put more translucent powder on top of the brows and brush off the excess. to take the Ben Nye Bond Off Adhesive Remover and I'm just going to remove any excess spirit gum and prosade that may be sitting around my eyebrows. Then I'm going to take a flesh colored kind of orangey concealer and I'm going to cover my brows with that just to make sure everything is kind of in a neutral flesh skin tone. Once that's done, I'm going to take my medium gray shade that we created earlier and I'm going to start putting that all over my face and chest. And at this point I started to get pretty hungry. Shout out to Twizzlers for making sure I'm fed and not grumpy while painting. So make sure you really take your time with this. As you can tell here, I've gone over the paint a few times already because it's starting to look more opaque. Next, I'm going to put some primer on my eyelids as I plan on wearing eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put some gray eyeshadow on top of my lid. The 1920s were a time for women to finally start wearing a lot of makeup without having the stigma of being a harlot attached to it anymore. Which I think is a super cool fact for us makeup addicts to know. Next I'm just going to line my waterline and underneath my lower eyelashes with a black liner. Next is eyebrow time. I'm going to take the dark gray paint that we created and I'm going to use this to outline the shape of my brows. I'm using this dark gray paint instead of going in with black just in case I mess up. I can easily blend this dark gray into the gray base and start over. 
Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to take my NYX Black Liquid Liner and I'm just going to go over my brows with this liner. During the 1920s, women had finally started plucking their eyebrows, so super thin brows were all the rage and they always had this downward angle to them. Then it's time to highlight. So I'm going to take that lighter gray shade that we created earlier on and I'm going to place it right on top of my forehead. Basically, I'm going to highlight the areas of my face and my chest that I normally would with regular makeup. I'm putting some on my cheeks as well and on the bridge of my nose. I'm also putting some highlight on my collarbones as well. Now it's time to contour. So we're going to go in with that dark gray shade that we made earlier and I'm going to place this shade right underneath my collarbones and next to my humeral heads, I guess. I don't know what else to call that area. And I'm just going to put some of that dark gray underneath my cheeks as well and I'm going to contour my nose. some dark gray eyeshadow and I'm just going to go over the areas that I contoured with this shadow just to give it a little bit more depth. Next I'm taking my black liner pencil and I'm just smudging it on top of my eyelids. And then I'm just putting black shadow right on top and blending that in. Also smudging some black shadow underneath my eyes as well. Now here I'm going to add a beauty mark, super important. Next I'm going to add some mascara. Mascara had just been released during the 1920s and it was all the rage. Women loved their mascara. Now I'm taking my Black Moon Cosmetics Cosmic Eye Dust in the shade Moon Rocks and I'm just putting that on the center of my lid just to give it a little bit more dimension and to give it a little bit more bling as the 1920s were a time of decadence and lots of bling. Now I'm covering my lips with that same medium gray shade. And using that black liner pencil, I'm just going to start to outline the shape of my lips. This type of lip was called the bee sting and it was very popular during the 1920s. Now I'm just covering my lips with Kat Von D Beauty which is black liquid lipstick. And now I'm going to add some false lashes. Interestingly, false lashes became quite popular before the 1920s, around 1916 actually. So they've been around for a long time. Here I'm just outlining the shape of my lips again with my NYX Black Liquid Liner. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to put a wig cap on and cover any bits of flesh that might be poking through. And I'm going to put on my super fabulous wig. Once the wig is on, I'm going to add my headpiece. I made this headpiece myself and I'm super proud of it. I'm just going to pin that right into my wig with some bobby pins. Now that my dress is on, I'm going to finally paint my armpit area. I always paint this area last because the paint doesn't last a really long time because obviously we sweat from our armpits and no matter what you do, the paint's just going to come off from this area, unfortunately. All right, and here is the final look. I'm super proud of this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned a few interesting facts about the 1920s and fashion and makeup. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank <laughs> you.